Come on, dude. Let's go body. Ah, hold up. Let's go. Let's go. Morning, you guys, and welcome to today's video. Today is Saturday, January the 27th, I want to say. And right now it's currently 9 a.m. Um, this is actually me sleeping in because, as you guys know, Monday through Friday, I usually wake up around like 4 in the morning, get ready for work and whatnot. So I slept in like a good five hours. Um, I went to bed maybe around 1. Right now, I'm outside taking Georgie out so Robert could go ahead and to sleep in for a little bit longer before he has to go to work. <laughs> right now, Georgie's taking his shit. Get it, Georgie, get it, boy! Sometimes, uh, you just gotta hype up your boys to do some amazing shit, literally. And did you go, yeah, so you went poo-poo. But usually, I'll sit out here with Georgie for like a good like 15 minutes, just so can make sure he's taking care of all his business and whatnot and doesn't go inside the house because that's the last thing we need right now. So, yeah. Uh, don't have much planned for today you guys honestly I was just planning on giving you guys like the apartment tour finally that's like overdue introduce you guys to my roommate because the last video I was supposed to upload it like downgraded or it like down quality I don't know how the fuck you pronounce it but yeah so that's what happened I'm so kind of tired but let's get today started friends now we're about to get super hashtag health we're gonna go ahead and make a protein smoothie so we're gonna use one scoop of the goes vegan whey peanut butter cereal milk one Georgie we use these frozen berries bought at HEB they were like two for three dollars and it's a pretty good amount I already used some in my oatmeal like a few days ago I have another backup in there that will come in handy but use these and of course, we are gonna throw in some almond milk, vanilla. And also, you're not ultimate health unless you throw some greens in there. So we're gonna throw a handful of baby spinach up in there. And then we're gonna start the process of making a smoothie and a baby. There's a few things I fail at, but making smoothies isn't one of them. It's pretty good. Let me go ahead and show you guys the final product for breakfast slash pre-workout meal. So we have two egg sandwiches, uh, two whole eggs in there. We have about like two slices of turkey in there, 93.7. Um, Mobile again, ham sandwich. <laughs> we got two sleeves, uh, two cheese slices in there, one blueberry muffin, and a quart of protein shake. So that's gonna be our breakfast. So I'll give you guys the full apartment tour now since it's like pretty much furnished. So we have our little gaming station. Robert brought his Super Nintendo, <laughs> old school Xbox, PS3. We have our chimney, and then where the famous selfies go because it's awesome lighting right here. Have our couches, we got Drake blasting right now. Just finished cleaning up the apartment as well. Over here, 
we have our kitchen. There's nothing really much in the pantry. Like all we have here is just like miscellaneous shit. Like we got some trash bags, some charcoal, and then just a ice chest. And over here, we have our proteins, our muffins, our focus, there you go. Our tricks, cereals mainly. And then our fridge, not fully stocked up, but just some slices for the week. And then a lot of other stuff like rice, beans, pasta, oatmeal, our microwave, stove, sink, countertop. Jojo's in a cage because he hates the vacuum. And then I showed you guys over here. We have our balcony, the view and whatnot. <coughs> and over here, we have our laundry. I was doing laundry, so I was just putting the clothes in the washer into the clothes in the dryer. Then my bedroom, I just finished vacuuming, so everything that was on the floor, stirred on my bed and whatnot. Uh, my TV, blinds. What do you guys think? Should I get curtains? Comment down below. Uh, I'm not much of a curtains guy. I like the natural lighting coming into my room. But, you know, my bathroom is, like, right here. So, at times, I like to keep this door closed. And then I like having this one open. But I feel like my neighbors could see me, like, showering. Like right here, so I don't know. What do you guys think? Curtains or no curtains? And then my closet, but it's a mess. <laughs> but I'll just show you guys the top. So I literally just put like folded clothes, and I just put them right there. But I just been on the go lately. I just grab a shit and dip. And then I'm not gonna show you the floor because it's kind of bad right now. Uh, just a sink. But yeah, that's basically. It. And then of course like Robert's room, but that's his privacy. Not gonna go in there. But yeah, that's basically the apartment tour. So now it is about that time, time to get our pre-workout on. We're going to be fucking with Ghost Legend Sour Warhead Apple Flavor. We're going to go with, of course, the Go Pump, Ghost Pump. We're going to do Lemon Lime Flavor today. And of course, because we need energy, because we're fat right now, we're going to go ahead and have some Ghost BCA's Lemon Lime Flavor. So you guys can use Be A Legend to save yourself 20 percent of ghost legend ghost lifestyle.com now let's go get that pump all right guys so we're gonna smash a push workout the first move we're gonna be doing is a flat bench press we're gonna do about four working sets in between six to eight reps right now we're working with 205 pounds um right now i'm still trying to adjust to i guess a hand placement usually i'll go a little bit wider but today i'm gonna go maybe about like a little bit off shoulder length maybe like two centimeters apart so second working set So the second movement we're going to be doing for this push workout, oh, by the way, we're keeping it like all between three to four sets and six to eight reps. So we're going for strength today, not so much volume. So we'll be working with the 85 pound dumbbells for reps of eight. Second set.
third move we're gonna be doing, you guys. So, incline dumbbell flies, keeping it between 10 to 12 reps. Did I say four sets? Four sets? Four sets. Arch in your back. Step a little tractor. Stationary dumbbell shoulder press. Uh, three sets, six, eight reps. So be the, this will be the main compound movement. We're going to do some dumbbells today for some shoulders. <coughs> Working with the 70 pounds. Nice control. Side laterals and some front raises. We're gonna keep it nice and controlled. Keep like a one second pause on top. Ten reps, each arm, each movement. What's up you guys? Sunday, fun day. Not, um, slept in, a couple of hours. As you can tell by my hair, I haven't, the only thing I've really done today is just lay in bed, eat, and watch The Office. That's all I've been doing and eating a lot. It's about like 6 p.m. or so. I ordered a pizza from Domino's, which I should probably go take off now to go pick it up. But I'm taking a rest day off the gym today, you guys. I haven't had a rest day in maybe about two weeks. Um, I did want to train today, but and then I like take like a rest day during the week. But my body's just not feeling it today, so I'm gonna go ahead and take my rest day today and start off a new cycle tomorrow. But yeah, let's go get that pizza. Not yet, not not yet. Come on, people, hurry up. Cool. And we have arrived. And there's no parking, so I guess I'll park over here. The worst part about my name being Rocky is that it does not stop. Like, oh my god, Rocky, like Rocky Balboa. Oh my god, Rocky, where's Adrian? Like, please, lady, I just can't buy a pizza. Just give me my pizza, please, I'm hungry. But anyways, you guys, show you guys what I got. We got some Domino's. If you guys haven't signed up for Domino's Rewards and you're there constantly like my fat ass is, I really recommend you guys go. Free pizzas, like when you order like a pretty good amount. Where's freaking lighting? When you order a pretty good amount, so I have the app on my phone and I also have a water burger app because I'm always there. So this is what I got. Just a classic pepperoni and sausage pizza. But yeah, 
So those rewards really come in handy, guys. Like it was literally free, but you know it's always nice to tip your the people that make your pizza, especially if they don't screw up. What is going on, you guys? And welcome to the Q and A portion of the video. So on my Instagram, I had posted like the little question thing, so you guys could go and shoot me some questions, and I got a pretty good fair little. I got a fairly good amount of questions, and some of them they were like too explicit to even like post on here. So I went ahead. Took like about like 10 of them. I got like a total of like 16 of them, which isn't so bad. I don't know why this time around you guys decided to ask questions. So I'm gonna go ahead and be sipping on some pre-workout because I was on my way to the gym anyways and the lighting's really good right now. So I figured I'd go ahead and answer some questions. So let's get started. How old are you? I am 23 years old. I turned 24 in June. So that's in about like six months, I believe. I am a cancer. So I'm very sad, a very homebody, very, mm, very affectionate when I have like three shots of tequila in me. Boobs or butt? I used to be all about team boobs, but now I'm all about team booty. Like, you can't really like rub boobs in public because you know that's kind of whack, but you can, you know, rub your girl's butt here and there. Favorite muscle group to train? Shoulders. Uh, I do play favorites a lot, you guys. Um, it used to be back and then it used to be chest and then now it's shoulders. Uh, um, I don't like training legs that much, but I still do it anyways. Uh, can you still be fat while staying shredded? Yes. Um, you're going to be fat regardless, you guys, but it just depends on like your body fat percentage is how you're going to look. If you're going to look fat, you're going to look lean, you're going to look shredded, obese, whatever it may be. But yes, you're still going to be fat regardless, but you just won't be as fat, if that makes sense. Can Naruto kick Goku's ass? So, after seeing the Brawly movie, you guys, um, I know Goku got his ass handed to him from Brawly. He had to fuse with Vegeta. If you hadn't seen the movie, I'm sorry. Spoiler alert. But, you know, Naruto, he's taken on all of his enemies by himself. He's just, like, had to go more powerful than ever. And, you know, I think Naruto could so kick Goku's ass. Fight me on that one. Leave a comment down below. Who do you think who will win, guys? For real. Leave a comment down below. Let's argue. Notice you've been watching The Office again. Well, who is your favorite character? And I love the show. Okay, so this is my sixth time watching The Office, you guys. Yesterday, which was Sunday, as you guys saw, I literally spent all day in bed just binge watching it. It was my rest day from the gym, so I had pizza. And I was watching it, but my favorite character would always have to be Creed. I just think he's like, he's like a fart, you know, like no one really notices him until like you see him. And so, yeah, definitely Creed. I think he's freaking hilarious, man. It's like the dumb shit he says. It's, it's fucking funny. He used to be Michael, but then like, I don't know why I didn't notice Creed. Like when I first started watching The Office, like it would just stood by me, but no, definitely Creed now. I think he's fucking hilarious. What are you listening to at the moment? So let me go and pull up my Spotify. And I just found out you can follow people on Spotify. So I'm gonna go ahead and put my Spotify information down in the description below and a screenshot right here of, I guess, my page or whatever it's called. So right now, uh, on Saturday, my friends in Judiciary, oh, can never pronounce the name right. Jake, you gotta change your name for reals. Um, Judiciary, they just released their LP, uh, Surface Noise. It's like super good. It's like a bunch of hardcore is what I've been listening to lately. Uh, so Surface Noise that, uh, I've been listening to like Black Masses from Bloodhound. I know I might get a lot of hate for this one, but you know, it's I'm really late to the party and like he's like sort of dead now. Um, I've been listening to the question mark from XXX Tentacion, uh, that song, Sad, it's pretty good. Uh, light we made from bounce composure i'm like super late to that party too it's just like you know when you get really comfortable with some music and you're so like adjusted to it you don't want to listen to like their newer stuff that they've just released because you're afraid it's not gonna be as good as their old stuff that's how i am with them but i finally got into it light we made is really good uh power trip uh some old drake and then ghost actually you guys they make like a bunch of playlists and i've been jamming to the ghost vibes emo pop punk there pretty good that's what i've been jamming out to lately also and you know the story so far sea haven nothing too crazy as of right now just like varies on my mood so maybe today i might listen to some r&b during my workouts maybe 
what competitions are you planning on doing? It's funny that I'm answering this question because of Summer Shredding won the physical show. Like the entries opened up for today, or they opened today, and I haven't even bought like my entry yet. So hopefully there's still spots open by the time by next Friday actually. Um, hopefully there's still spots open because that's one big show I'm planning on doing. And if that goes well, then I start prep in April. So you guys already know Summer Shreds Volume Two or Part Two coming soon. And I really want to document this prep from like beginning to end, like as much as as much content as I could give you guys from like how I'm feeling, what I'm eating, what I'm doing, etc. Everything, the whole nine yards. Uh, so I'm planning on doing that one. I wanted to do the Dallas Europa. But it's on the day of my little sister's graduation back home in El Paso, so I probably won't be able to do that one. And I really don't want to spend like a long time in prep just because like it really does mess with your mentality a lot. Uh, so I've just had to look. Probably Battle of the Bay because I didn't realize how close Corpus is to San Antonio and it's like in July. It's like three weeks after the summer shedding event, so I'll probably do that one. And yeah, Corpus is probably like two hours away, which I just found out. So those for sure. Your favorite cereal. <laughs> um, I put a poll on Instagram to see if you guys wanted me to review some cereals because I buy like the most weirdest cereals, like Sour Patch Kid cereal. Um, we just picked up a Cinnamon Toast Chudo cereal. We picked up we pick up a lot of different cereals, you guys. Me and Robert were like cereal fanatics here, and that's like our thing. Is like if you, I'll show you guys on our fridge. We have like boxes of cereals and the best part about living on your own you guys is that you don't have to just open one and wait till you finish it. Well that's how it was growing up in my household. Probably because there was like a shit ton of us, but we just go all out. Whatever we're feeling that day, you know, tricks are feeling that day, uh cinnamon toast crunch are feeling that day, Captain Crunch, whatever it is, we just open it. So as of right now, my favorite cereal would probably still be Captain Crunch. Can never get tired of that. Last question. Are you still getting a doggo? Yes, I'm still getting a dog, but it's just a matter of time as to when I'm going to get him. Uh, I really want a boy dog. Everyone's saying I should get a girl dog, but you know, the way Georgie functions, he's like me. He's like Robert. He's a man, and men have needs. He's going to want someone to cuddle with them, listen to some Drake with them, but Georgie's more of a Netflix and chill kind of dog, not like a Hulu and Commitment kind of dog, but he sort of has to be because he's like sort of neutered. But yeah, I still want to dog you guys. I'm just still like on the lookout for one. Um, still very indecisive of what I want to get, but by the looks of it, it's probably going to be a pug. A lot of uh, my followers, because I had tweeted, if anyone has a pug, Corgi, French Connect, and a lot of you guys replied, oh, we know someone that has pugs for the low. So that's probably going to be what I'm going to pick up. Alright you guys, so that's going to conclude this Q&A. As always, if you guys enjoyed this video, please like, comment, share, subscribe, smash that thumbs up button, and we'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.